and I've been saying no exaggeration for two years that we should phase out Ask the King, and people keep telling me, no, Phil, it's the biggest thing that you still do from back in the day. Don't get rid of it. It's a nice legacy thing. It's the only thing you have from the past. Please keep it, right? So I have. I prefer if we don't talk about stupid shit of the past, like my ex-girlfriend at this point. The past is the past. There's no reason to keep dwelling on it. But yesterday, I'll be honest, I was pretty disheartened because we were doing the podcast, and the podcast was going great. We had good attendance, good engagement. Everyone was having a good time. I said, all right, let's head over. Let's do Ask the King. We lost from the podcast to Ask the King 200 viewers. Half the show left, okay? And I'm answering questions or whatever. Engagement is low. People are not paying attention to the show. We had a bunch of people trying to derail with trolling nonsense. Literally no one in the stream chat is talking about the game right now or talking to me. You know, so I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing because, you know, people aren't paying any attention. Great. <laughs> I, I hope I'm doing the right thing here. <clears throat> People instead are talking about dumb shit like Mike Tyson or something. I I have no idea what they're talking about. Hey guys, I, I'm playing a game. Hello? Anyone on the stream actually watching? Instead of talking about dumb shit, you know I'm here, right? I'm playing a game. It's the point of the stream, kind of. That's not good. When people are going off on their own tangents and not paying attention, that's not good, right? It means that basically people are not engaged, they're not enjoying it, right? Everything was basically very, very slow and disheartening yesterday. I was like, wow, that's different. Because usually when I do Ask the King, it's a, it's a thing I do only a couple months and you get people who swing by like, wow, it's cool, it's the Legacy Show. That didn't happen yesterday. It was pretty much one of the least engaging things I've done in a very long time. You know, when you see the entire audience essentially unplugging and not paying attention, that's not good. You know, that means you should be doing something else. I know that. I'm an interactive streamer. If I'm not able to interact because I'm not grabbing your attention, there's a problem there. So, I've pledged the question. I'm waiting for feedback because I have gotten some. And admittedly, this morning, I didn't have a chance to look at video comments, but I did last night. I asked everyone, what is going on with Ask the King? Do you think that I should keep doing it? Or do you think it's time to retire it now? Do you think that now there's enough Q&A between the podcast, between our interactive streams that we have? Do you think that the show has outlived its usefulness? You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> yes. What do you think? And there seems to be a lot of different schools of thought. Some people are like, the show's completely done. Don't just cancel it now. Just stop. Don't even do another episode. Okay? That's, that's one school of thought. Another school of thought is, all right, fair enough. It didn't go well this time. But now maybe people understand that. And people who watch the show will be like, oh, crap, but I like the show. That sucks that I didn't do it. And I'll, I'll, I'll show up next time. Right? So give it another chance. Some people seem to be of the impression that the show has outlived its usefulness, but being that we got to 95 episodes, it would really suck to end it now. This fucking sucks. So, basically instead of that, extend it, but only until we hit the 100 episode anniversary and then officially retire the series, right? Um. Okay, now the thing is the bi-monthly show, and if you do the math, that would mean there's a show in May, July, September, November, and January. And so January 2024 would actually be the retirement show for Ask the King, where we do the final episode and we give it a big, you know, hearty send off and say thanks for 100 episodes, but, you know, it doesn't really make sense anymore, right? Plan for retirement. Retirement. Dude, I can't pay my day to day bills. Right now, my bank account is overdrawn. I'm not even kidding you. Right now, my bank account is overdrawn. Where, there's no money for retirement. At one point in my life, much earlier in my life, I was saving money for retirement, and that's all been spent because I had to spend so much money to make ends meet out here. So. <clears throat> uh, a couple more tips just came in. I received a $1.25 tip from Pancake, Pancake Floppy Shits. Twitch had better streaming services like Prime, Polls, and Bits. Uh, there's definitely some things that Twitch did better. Personally, the Prime subs is huge, and also the chat is just better. It, you know, here the chat on YouTube is a running comments system. That leaves a lot to be desired. The chat on Twitch is much better. The emotes are better. They carry over between channels. There's a lot of benefits over there. All right? <clears throat> Here's the one uh, downside. Um, the one downside of Twitch. The streaming quality is terrible. I mean it. Like, streaming on Twitch, you're compromising the quality of your content in order to have 
better methods of support. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like when you're streaming on Twitch, you're limited to this bit rate where you can't even do a solid 1080p 60 frame per second stream. You can't. You'll have to cut corners to try to make that happen if you can even make it happen. All right? So your visual quality suffers greatly. But you're getting the better chat. You're getting the, the prime membership or prime subs. You're getting emotes that carry over. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's kind of like, what do you care more about? Do you care more about the quality of the content that you're putting out? Or do you care more about finding a way to make money? That's really the choice. Because if you look at the options, right? That's basically the deal here where, yeah, if you're looking to make money, you'll probably make more money on Twitch. Yes, I, Phil Burnell, for the four years that I was full-time streaming on Twitch, made more money on Twitch streaming than I do on YouTube. 100%. Yes, I have had a cut in income. All right, because I, I'm full-time on YouTube rather than Twitch. But at the same time, my quality has gone way up. The visuals of everything that I'm doing, yeah, everything has improved since I've been on YouTube full-time. You know what I'm saying? So it, what's what's the trade-off there? What What's more beneficial? I don't know. You know, maybe it is more about making money. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But for me, I like being here and I like putting out the best quality for you guys. You know, here I don't have a limitation on bitrate. I can do whatever I want. And that's why my, my videos look as good as they do. That's why my streams look as good as they do. And I couldn't, I could not have my content look that good on Twitch. It just didn't happen. So YouTube sucks. If, if you guys support me and you want to see me keep doing this and you want to, you know, show up on streams, you can cheer sub and tip on streams. It helps tons. That's what I care about. Growth on the Twitch channel right now. I don't really care about the YouTube channel. Honestly, DSP Gaming, like I said, it's an archive for my content. I don't have... Uh, any kind of desire to work on any kind of creative content for YouTube at this point because there's no point to it. There's, uh, you know, anything I put on YouTube, I, on this channel ends up getting demonetized. Over on DSP Gaming, it makes almost no money because all the ad revenue is so bad on YouTube right now. Anyway, I'd rather focus on Twitch and try to get my streaming as popular as possible so maybe Twitch this year can 100% take over as the means of income for me to pay my bills. And then if YouTube, I get a little bit of extra money on YouTube or whatever, great. But I don't have to worry about a month like this where YouTube goes, boop. And I make no money on YouTube at all, which is so bad. And now I gotta worry about can I afford my bills and stuff. I don't wanna be in that position, all right? So you say, I know memberships don't help today. Here's something towards helping you today. It's a $5 tip. I know that sometimes I'm harsh in chat. It's because I, t I, I care about you. I hope you don't take it personal. I'm gay. I don't take anything personal unless you're insulting. There's a difference between being, trying to be helpful and constructive and being just outright nasty and trollish. You know what I mean? There's a big difference between the two. For example, there's people who are actually big time, you know, long time viewers and fans of mine. And if they think that I'm out of line, they'll tell me. I'll get an email, I'll get a message and say, hey, you know what? What you did last night was out of line, I didn't like that. Or, you know, I don't, I don't you, today you're really getting hard on like asking for contributions and we don't like that and we just wanna let you know because you know, you asked us to tell you and we're telling you. And I really appreciate that, 100%. Really, really appreciate that kind of constructive feedback. It's not positive feedback, but it's still constructive feedback, and I need it. I need that feedback in order to improve and to grow, and I appreciate every time that I get that kind of feedback. But there's a difference between that constructive feedback and just basically people being nasty. You know, there's a big difference because they're just coming in here to, to take a jab or an insult. That doesn't help anything. It doesn't help anyone. It's not going to improve me. It's not going to improve the, the streams or quality. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's it's not even what you say, but how you say it. You understand? Like, that's true. That's very truthful. Sometimes two people could say exactly the same thing, and one person says it in one way, so one person says another, and it completely hits differently. In one, in one case, it'll have an impact, and in one case, it won't. Fuck you.